So according to new report from Redfin, the median U.S. asking rent rose 2.4% year over year to $1,942 in January, the smallest increase since May 2021 and the lowest level in nearly a year. That's roughly one-sixth the pace of January 2022 when rents were up 15.6% from a year earlier. January marked the eighth straight month in which annual rent growth slowed. Rents fell 1.9% from a month earlier and were down 5.4% from the August peak of $2,053. Now here we see the chart of what's happened over uh, the period of time from January 2020, <laughs> pre-pandemic uh, or plandemic as the case may be, uh, to then getting over to January 2023, and you can see that the pace of growth is slowing. So rent growth is cooling because of slowing demand and growing supply. Demand has slowed due to still high costs. Rents remain 22.5% higher than they were in January 2020. Inflation is a definite real thing. Uh, widespread economic uncertainty and slowing household formation. Rental supply has grown due to an influx of construction in recent years, as well as recent increase in the number of people opting to rent out their homes instead of selling. Well, imagine that. Imagine that. They're, they're, they're looking into the business like we do. Um, we're watching closely to see whether rents start falling year over year. That would be a welcome relief for renters because it hasn't happened since the onset of the pandemic, said Redfin Chief Economist Daryl Fairweather. If rents do start falling on a year over year basis, it will mean that renters have more room to negotiate. It may also prompt more landlords to sell their properties because they're no longer getting a good return on their investment. 